Hey, how's it going? This is Riley with ClickPenguin.com. Today I'm going to be showing you exactly how I would rank a cleaning business on the top of Google. So let's just get right into it. The keyword I'm going to be using is cleaning services Gainesville, Florida. As you can see, 600 people every single month are searching for this uh, keyword and it has a difficulty of six, so it's relatively easy to rank for. Uh, we're just going to scroll down here and I want to show you why SEO is so important. Look how much traffic that the first result is getting, Molly made. Uh, so if they're converting only 10% of this traffic, that is 70 new cleaning jobs every single month without them having to go search for those clients. And then when you come down here, uh, Mini made 433. That's still very good. Let's go to the second page and see. Um, made professionally here, 27. This is the website that I'm going to be using uh, for this walkthrough. Um, let's just get right into it. The first thing that I like to do is take the uh, URL and go to PageSpeed Insights here. Whoops, already had something in there. So while that goes, and then mobile friendly, I also had something in here. Whoops. And it's not letting me paste. Does not seem like I'm allowed to paste. Okay, here we go. Okay, so while that goes. Okay, so desktop, they have a 99 score, nothing they need to do there. Um, page speed is incredibly uh, important for ranking on Google. If your site does not load, Google is not going to want to rank you. So having a 99 um, load, sp load speed score is uh, really good for uh, ranking on Google. So they're all set there. Uh, Google also released an update uh, last April, in April 2021, uh, making putting an emphasis on having mobile-friendly websites just because of the uh, sheer amount of people or the increase in the amount of people that are using mobile to search. Um, but here you can see their page is not mobile friendly. They give you, uh, they tell you what the issues are. So those are pretty easy to fix. You're definitely going to want to have a mobile friendly website if you want to rank. So those are that, um, or that's that. You want to um, make sure your page loads well and you want to make sure your page is mobile friendly. Okay, going back to here, let's go um, to the actual search results. So this is, um, nope, that's mini made. Where are we? It's page two. There you go, made professionally. So they, they show up, uh, this is the second page. They show up one, two, about like fourth, fifth, fifth on the second page. So I'm going to tell you how to uh, improve that. And what I want to start with here is uh, this is what's called the meta title. You always want to make sure that you have your main keyword at the beginning of your meta title. So you want this to say cleaning services, Gainesville, Florida, um, dash made professionally. And then this is your meta description. You also want to have your keyword in the meta description, as you can see, cleaning services, and they also have Gainesville, Florida there. So they're doing well with the meta description. Um, I would definitely add the keyword, their primary keyword into the uh, meta title right here. So cleaning services, Gainesville, Florida, dash made professionally would be, would be fine. Now jumping on to the home page here, um, I do see that they have a, a moving slider here. I don't usually tend to like the moving slider just because um, your H1 headers here. Uh, I don't know if these are actually their H1 headers or if this is technically counting as their H1 header here. Um, but either way, I would just have this as a still image and have your primary keyword um, followed by some um, adjective like best or you can have number one. Um, or not followed by. So it would be, it would start with best, uh, was a keyword cleaning services in Gainesville, Florida. You could have number one cleaning services in Gainesville, Florida. The reason the H1 tag is so important or the reason it's so important to have your um, primary keyword in your H1 header is because your H1, I'm going to assume this is the H1 here. Your H1 is the, uh, it is what tells Google, gives Google the best idea of what your page is about. So it's definitely the most important text on your entire website. And therefore you would for sure want to have your uh, primary keyword within your H1 header. So that is something that I would change. Um, I like that they say locally, it just says locally owned business in greater Gainesville, Florida. I would have a locally owned um, cleaning service business or locally owned cleaning business in Gainesville, Florida. Just make sure to have that keyword in there again. Um, all this is fine. Um, they have in our staff section here. So here they have uh, their locations in here. I would make 
separate pages for every single location because these are different things people are searching. So the keyword we're going after is cleaning services Gainesville, but there are still people searching cleaning services in Crescent Beach, uh, cleaning services Ponte Verde. So uh, Ponte, Ponte Verde, I said that incorrectly, Ocala. Um, so these are, these are different searches that you can have full pages built out for that you will then get that traffic, um, send that traffic as well to your website. Because I'm sure there's a ton of people in uh, Crescent Beach that are searching for cleaning services. But if this is optimized to go to the cleaning services Gainesville, I know they're probably very close in proximity, but um, it's still just best practice to have separate lo location pages and um, you can just optimize each page for a certain location. So that is something else that I would change. Uh, this website's definitely very thin on content. I would add uh, more sections and um, definitely more content, maybe say more about your business, add more testimonials. Um, they only have this one testimonial from 2013. I would definitely update your testimonials here. And um, let's see what else we have. There's no, let's see what their services pages is like. Okay, so this again, just like I said, with uh, location, you wanna have separate pages. You also wanna have separate pages for every single one of your services, because these are all things that people are searching. There are people searching residential cleaning in Gainesville, Florida, office cleaning, uh, you get the point. So you want to have a separate page for every single location, and then another separate page for every single um, service, because the, if you're going by keywords, which is how Google ranks, then all this is being clumped and you're missing out on traffic when people specifically serve for commercial cleaning. And again, it's just very thin on content. Um, you're gonna want to have the keyword in here again, our services, this is gonna be the H1 for this page. You want this H1 header to have uh, the keyword in it as well. So our, our cleaning services in Gainesville, Florida would be a better way to word that and um, you do not have the keyword, you don't have Gainesville here at all, it looks like. So yeah, I'm sure none of these pages are ranking. Let's go take a look at the blog. And there is no blog here. So that is something that you would want to have set up. That's another way to get more traffic to your website. Uh, you can go after keywords. They're much more, um, they're much more difficult to rank for just because it's going to be national keywords. Like you'd use a blog to educate your uh, potential clients. You could also use your blog uh, to talk about different, different events going on in Gainesville. So uh, the blog is a great way to bring more traffic to your website and have some uh, other keywords, start ranking for some other keywords. So I know I went through that pretty quickly. So I'm going to just recap here. Uh, we're going to do SEO checklist for cleaning business. I'm just going to list everything that I just went over. Um, one, uh, their site speed was really good. So site speed is it gets a check, but um, make, I'm going to say make website site mobile friendly. That is a huge ranking factor. Uh, Google is usually not going to rank you well if you're not, or especially not on mobile because there's two different searches. So you're going to rank uh, different spots based on desktop or mobile. So they're probably most likely not ranking on mobile because their site is not mobile friendly and Google does not like that. To we'll make site mobile friendly, I would say add keyword to front of meta title. I'd say add keyword to H1. I'm gonna say, uh, let's go to the first page, home page here so I can remember what I said. Add it to the H1. I'm going to say, uh, hmm, what else was I talking about? Oh, add it to add keyword to subtext in, in welcome section. Okay, you want to create. Create separate location pages to target those other keywords or those other locational keywords. So um, just to explain a little bit further, cleaning services in Gainesville is it's is a keyword in itself, but so is uh, uh, cleaning services in Crescent Beach. So that's why you want to have different location pages, create separate service pages, same 
uh, concept there. People are searching for different services. You want to be there when they search those. Otherwise, your competitor will be. Your competitors will be. Um, set up a blog. And for this one, I'm going to say um, you could write, just give some ideas, write about um, events in Gainesville, write about cleaning tips. And um, that's all I can come up with off the top of my head. So uh, here is the checklist if you want to screenshot it. I know it might seem incredibly simple what I just went over, um, but this is really how how simple it can be. I mean, Google's just searching, Google's crawling your page to see what keywords you have on your website. And if those keywords match up and your website is mobile friendly, it loads quickly, uh, you're going to start ranking. So if you own a cleaning business and you want to start getting in front of all this traffic, I do want to say that this works all, all around the US, um, all around the world, really, for any, seat, any uh, city. You just if you're not in Gainesville, you would obviously just put your, your service area instead of Gainesville, Florida. So it would be cleaning services, Houston, Texas, or wherever you're located, and the story will be the same. These tips will still help you out. Um, and if you don't believe me, I would encourage you to go uh, go rewatch this video and follow along and make the changes to your website. They, SEO does take a long time to um, start seeing results. And when I say a long time, I mean, you could see results as soon as maybe two months, a month and a half, depending on the state of your website when you start um, optimizing. But... Uh, usually it'll take at least six months. So the sooner you get started, the uh, sooner you'll start seeing uh, you your traffic improve and that'll lead to more business. So again, this is the importance of this. Molly Made is getting 700 traffic from this one keyword alone. And I'm pretty sure they're a nationwide franchise. So they have locations that are bringing in uh, even more traffic if they're ranking for other cities. So 714 traffic compared to uh, what we just went over made professionally 27. So that could possibly be one, two, three new clients every single month. Um, but we all know that having 70 new clients come straight to your business every single month without you having to do outreach is m much better than having two. So that is why SEO is important. This is exactly what I would do to change that. Um, there is more that I could get into, um, but I just want to keep it simple. For the people that aren't as technical, this is a great place to start and you will see improvements if you do this. So again, I hope you found that helpful. Um, this is Riley with clickpenguin.com. I always mess it up, clickpenguin.com. So if you would like me to do an SEO analysis of your website completely free, you can just go to clickpenguin.com and fill the form on the homepage, or you can just drop your website link in the comments below and let me know that uh, you'd like me to check it out. So um once again, I hope that was I hope that was useful in some way to you. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Have a great day, guys. Bye.